What's up guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be recovering data from this one terabyte uh, 7200.12 Seagate. Apparently it's not spinning, but the client said it also is not completely silent and is making some noises if you put your ear to it. Usually that indicates that there is a problem with the bearing and uh, especially on these 7200.11 and 12s, it was a really common problem where the spindle would fail and the drive ceases to spin. So uh, the procedure will require removing the platters and remaining, of, remaining guts from that uh, failed drive and putting them in a donor chassis. The donor chassis doesn't have to be an exact or even a functional donor. It has to be just a, the drive that can spin on its own, obviously out of the same model because the architecture has to be the same inside. But I have plenty of these 7200.11 uh, and 12 drives in a one terabyte format, so finding a chassis that spins is not going to be a problem. I'm going to get that on the bench, plug this drive into MRT and test it. Uh, I'll put my mic on it so you guys can hear the sounds that I'm referring to, and hopefully the laminar flow will not dampen that sound too much. These were the noises that the drive is making and uh, let me just go ahead and power off this unit. So this drive here is not functional. Uh, so I'm not going to be very careful with how the head's coming out, with how the discs are coming out. This is just solely so that we can use this nice and free spindle that is in there. Who oh, I've been telling something, a speech right now. Either you work hard for it, or you don't work hard for it. Well, me and my brother, we work hard for our stuff. It don't come easy. In life, you have to work. Either you want to be the shark of the ocean, Okay, so the PCB is back on. That's a good sign. Yay! Sorry, I was excited there. <laughs> I'm always excited to see a, um, a model and the serial come up. Okay, I don't know wh why I can't establish this connection with the serial port. I'm not gonna get into figuring that out right now. It's not crucially important. But I wanna see if 
whether or not we have access to the um, uh, to the user area. Where is this uh, user sector viewer? Um, okay, so let's have a look at the sector zero. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. This is the last sector. Also reads fine. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems uh, extracting this data. I mean, if we really wanted to, like I don't, I wouldn't want to do this on the drive that still has to go through the recovery process. But I just want to make sure that this drive can read on all heads before starting up the imaging task. I'm just gonna quickly run into disk scanning tools. Uh, logical scan test and I'm going to jump into the middle of the drive and fire it up the drive reads like you know like this is an old drive so testing at 100 over 100 megabytes per second is as best as it's going to do like this is enough so now I just gotta get the uh, target drive hooked up and start imaging I'm very excited with how this came around because uh, these drives they uh, uh, they can be problematic I'm actually surprised to see this kind of speed I've never tested what the performance is gonna be like um, after the platter swap is done on an older drive like that so I have nothing to compare it with but as you guys saw this drive is reading beautifully uh, and uh, imaging is moving along fairly well. I'm pretty sure that we should be able to get at least all of the desired information from that drive that the customer wanted. Tomorrow I'm working on the Rosewood um, modern Seagate 2.5 inch mobile drive. A lot of you requested that, so there you go, that's for you. Thank you for watching this episode. This great success story for oldie but a goodie 7200.12 Seagate drive. Stay tuned for more info. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like. And that notification button will notify you every time new video comes out. Thanks for your support. I'll see you tomorrow around the same time.